positive crankcase ventilation valve, PVC, helps to keep oil from accumulating down inside of the throttle body. And there is a very large puddle down in there of oil. That oil gets burned in the engine, it turns into carbon, then it goes out through the exhaust system and starts to plug up the catalytic converter. So on Priuses, periodically, the PVC valve needs to be replaced and the oil and the carbon that builds up in the intake system and the combustion chambers needs to be cleaned out. So this one is a prime example of needing a PVC replacement and uh, induction system cleaning. Decarbonization is what the dealer calls it. So the next question is on a 2010 Prius is where does the PVC valve live? They used to be up on the valve covers and it took two minutes to get to and then as engines evolved they started moving them around and on the earlier Priuses they were over an hour and they were back behind the, the cylinder head and valve cover but now they've moved them down into the crankcase area and I'm going to try to get a shot of this. Um, This hose right here is attached to the PVC valve, but clear back in there. So I'm gonna turn this sideways and see if I can get a, a shot of it. You can see the hose clamp coming up. And that silver valve right down there with the hexagon shape, that is the PVC valve. So after you remove enough parts off of the engine, air box, air filter, valve cover, uh, cover, cover, an intake system then you can get down in and see where the PVC is. The PVC needs to be replaced periodically just for wear and tear and about 75,000 miles is a, a round number. 60 to a 90 is the area that we see the most problems. So PVC valve again and way down there in the bottom underneath the intake manifold. 2010 Prius. So that hexagon silver nut that is the PVC valve below the intake manifold uh, on the breather system. So there's our PVC valve. Out of the engine, that's the little hexagon that we we're looking at with the flashlight. There's a little valve in there that is operated by vacuum, and when it goes bad, it allows uh, too much vapor to come through, and the oil accumulates inside the intake manifold. And that's the PVC valve. That's what we went after.